We stand up to the open borders fanatics, the radical left Democrats, their lawless partisan prosecutors, the prosecutors. Every time I fly over a blue state, I get a subpoena. We want him before the grand jury. And we stand up to the fake news media, which is seriously bad. And on November 5th, 2024, we're going to stand up to the corrupt political establishment. We're going to evict a totally corrupt president, Joe Biden, from the White House. And we're going to finish the job that we started, the most successful presidency. And I think, as everybody in this absolutely packed house knows, I've put everything on the line, and I will never yield. I never yield. I will never be deterred. I will never stop fighting for you. I didn't need this. I had a great life. Uh, People said, would you do it again? The answer is yes, because we're going to make America great again. We had it there. And then bad things happened. Bad things happened with an election, right? Bad, bad things happened. But we're going to make it uh, great like never before. I really believe that. With your vote, we will take back our country from these fascists and thugs, and we will absolutely make America great again. They've launched one hoax and witch hunt after another to try and stop our movement and thwart the will of the American people every time you have not even believable witch hunt witch hunt scam hoax it's called election interference and they're doing the best they can with it because who the hell would vote for them with the policies that they have of open borders and no voter id as the durham report which just came out proved they spied on my campaign think of it can you imagine if it was the other way around they spied on my campaign and we caught them They forged false evidence to get illegal surveillance warrants. The FBI offered $1 million for a fictitious dossier written by a foreign spy to try to frame me for treason. They were saying, now they're trying to do it again. These people don't stop, and they're bad, and we have to get rid of them. We have to get rid of them fast. They put our country through hell. And they knew it was all a lie the entire time. They knew it was a lie. The ridiculous and baseless indictment of me by the Biden administration's weaponized Department of Injustice will go down as among the most horrific abuses of power in the history of our country. Many people have said that. Democrats have even said it. This vicious persecution is a travesty of justice. You're watching Joe Biden. Joe, I think of it. Biden is trying to jail his leading political opponent, an opponent that's beating him by a lot in the polls, just like they do in Stalinist Russia or communist China. No different. We're really winning big. We're winning by every we're beating the hell out of the Republicans and we're beating the hell out of Joe Biden. That's why they're doing it. If I wasn't, let me tell you, if I wasn't, there'd be no witch hunt. There'd be no indictment. If I was losing, we're winning by a lot against the Democrats. If I were losing, you know, they're the party of disinformation. They say, oh, oh, we want to run against Trump. We want to run so badly against Trump. We won the first time, and then we did better the second time than we did the first time. We won by many millions of more votes. Much better. Not even close. We got the most votes ever in the history of our country. And today we're more popular than we were in 2020, we're going to get numbers that are absolutely incredible. Federal law enforcement should never have been involved in this matter, but they got involved, and we just can't let that happen. They got involved with Twitter. They got involved with Facebook. There's never been anything like it in the history of our country. We've never done like this. And the division is so bad because what they do is so bad, and our people are angry. And they just keep doing it. And sometimes you need strength. You have to have strength, more than just normal strength. And we have to 
get it changed because we're not going to have a country left. Remember, I used to campaign and I'd say that uh, we're going to end up being Venezuela on steroids. And that's exactly what's happening to our country. Our country is going to hell.